Beloved, good morning. My name is Reverend Kofi Sapon. You are welcome to Faith Breakfast. Today, what we have on our table is entitled Breaking the Old Chains. What are the old chains? The old chains are the old things that used to control us when we were sinners. The things that used to tell us what to do when we didn't have the Spirit of Christ living in us. The things that made us subject to sin. The things that made us slaves to sin when we were living in the darkness. Today we have been saved. Now we live with a new spirit which is the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God has come upon us and it dwells inside us. Therefore, we have become a new creation. But then there is a challenge. There is this statement that the number one enemy of a Christian is his flesh. How true is this? Paul made a statement that confirms that his number one enemy was his own flesh. And this is quite true about every other Christian there is today. We have the flesh to contend with in this world. The devil works through the flesh. Because we experience trials and temptations in the flesh, the devil tells Christians that you might not even be saved. Because the devil will keep on whispering into your ears that if you were saved, if you were really saved, if you were truly saved, you wouldn't want to do that thing again. Satan will even insinuate that it's you who wants to do wrong things when really you the man on the inside the new man doesn't want to do anything wrong this is the reason why paul said in first corinthians chapter 9 verse 27 that i keep under my body and bring it into subjection lest by any means when i have preached to others i myself should be a castaway why did Paul actually make this statement? As a Christian, learn to let the new man on the inside dominate your outward man. The outward man is not a new man. The body has not been born again. The body will keep wanting to do the things that it has always done. Things that are wrong. Paul's body did. The great apostle wouldn't have had to keep his body under if it were not wanting to do things that were wrong. So don't be surprised when your body wants to do the wrong things. Do you need to break a bad habit, conquer an old temptation, walk in victory over the flesh? Do what Paul did. Say what Paul said. Paul said, I don't let my body rule over me. Who is I? I is the man on the inside. The man on the inside would have to dominate the man on the outside for you to remain in the path of God. We will have to learn how to keep our body under control. We would have to learn how to allow the Spirit of God to rule over us, to lead us, and to help us to control the desires of the flesh, the desires of the body, and to keep it under subjection to the desires of the Spirit. I recommend that you consider fasting from time to time. It is one of our key tools that we use to control our body and bring it under subjection. At times, you would have to deny sleep and pray overnight. That is also another way of training your body and bringing it under subjection of the spirit. Our bodies will continue to be our enemies. But as much as we learn how to control it and to keep it under the spiritual man, the spiritual man will rule. Beloved, let us pray this prayer of confession. Say, Dear Jesus Christ, I thank you for saving me. I thank you for allowing your spirit, which has come to dwell in the inside of me, to become my new leader. I pray and ask for the power and the strength to keep my body under. I don't want my body to rule over me anymore. Therefore, I bring it under subjection. And I bring it under subjection to your spirit and to the man, the new man, which is in the inside of me. Thank you for saving me. 
Thank you for giving me the power to control my flesh. And thank you for giving me your authority to rule over this world. In the name of Jesus Christ have I prayed. Amen. Beloved, this has been your servant, Reverend Kufi Sapon. Remember to share this short food with every Christian that you know. Subscribe to our channel, Multiminds TV on YouTube. Every morning, we will bring you another food for the soul. God bless you and bye-bye.